naturally aspirated Aurora. Five seventy two. I'm Jared Shelby, founder of SSC. Uh, the car behind me is House 2013 SSC Twitter. Uh, we're unveiling it for the first time here in the United States. Uh, it's an all carbon fiber body, all carbon fiber chassis and one piece carbon fiber wheels. Uh, the motor is a 6.9 liter V8 dual overhead and 32 valve motor. Uh, it has a red line of 9200 RPM. Wait, it's twin turbo. And it's 1350 horsepower. So for a car that weighs 2700 pounds, that's a 2 to 1 power to weight ratio. What is that? Is that block um, derived from something else? I mean, we actually construct our own block. Look at this. That's the, oh, that's the Did you guys used to use a Corvette engine? Oh, we did. About four or five years ago, we started with some GM-based blocks. Yeah. But we had to do so much uh, manipulation and modification to it that it, it just was cost-effective to keep at it that way. And now you got your own blocks, so you're going for the, um, you know, dual cam, 32 valve exactly. kind of deal. And it's a uh, seven-speed manual uh, H-pattern transmission standard. Seven speed paddle shift off. And uh, what kind of was this geared towards? What kind of uh, racing is the closest well, this to this? Is, uh, in our previous car, the Ultimate Arrow, actually held the world production car speed record at 257 miles an hour. Uh, this car here is capable of the, the new world record speeds, uh, but we're actually going to go out and highlight and focus on all its other characteristics first. So we'll go to the Nurburgring. 
I attempt to break the record there and then really highlight with journalists that the handling, the breaking, the right quality. Uh, and then more we'll about show how nice We really use that world record in the past just to get our ball out right there. And, and Start the branding, but now now we'll, we'll rebrand with the SLC Tutara and uh, really highlight those other characteristics of the car and really display how fast it will go in the straight line. <laughs> And it's presented by Laura and Sandra Buck. Many congratulations. John Merritt from Bethesda, Maryland, the 93rd. Special awards to any double winners. The cars are examined for many things, but above all, authenticity, mechanical condition, Folks, we got another and car coming. special yeah. awards. And in fact, the double winners will have their cars selected by winners of two sets of judges. And that is a very great honor indeed. Following the show. You ready? Thank you. And that leaves our first in class 36 enclosed drive limousine, owned by Sid and Barbara Harris of Oceanside, California. We approached $8,000, a staggering amount of money in 1927. The ties of the production of their V60 series in the coming year would be strictly limited to 400 cars, so they asked for early reservations. Unfortunately, only 125 cars left the factory due to the depression. This Imperial sedan by Fleetwood represents the third year of production of the They were well known for their superb engineering performance and unique styling. This example has a handsome coach worked by the Merrimack Body Company, a subsidiary of JB Where the Mac Bulldog design came from with the radiator behind Thank you so much for bringing the car today, Lamont. It's very beautiful. I wish I had a car with my name on it too. Yeah, that is nice. Like Kickstarter, huge like Kickstarter. This display is also part of the famous A.K. Miller Stutz collection, and having been total and having never been restored or disassembled, it shows original, remarkable originality. Sean Jacobs. Uh, I want to thank you for being in this great car. It's been on display at the Peterson. It took a lot of work to get it out of there, and it's been really great to see it here today. The 1915 Stutz 58 cubic inches. Overhead with the V12, they ran two separate distributors, each run off the camshaft, which each handled rear end differential uh, six cylinders on each side. Another, another. 
studs. And they had to be uh, timed Pioneer just safety perfect feature was so that all the 12 cylinders would safety glass uh, run in harmony instead of a different, different Thank you very much, Piers, for bringing this wonderful stud. Oh, sweet stud. What'd you get? First in class, we have the 1929 Stutz M. Limited down on Goodwill, Victoria. Owned by Ralph and Adeline Morano of Westfield. What a great looking car. Look at the headlights on that car. This is a unique blend of an American chassis with your big coach work. The Mercedes 600 that has all hydraulically yeah. operated windows. Oh, this, is, this, is probably, this is such a good one. All the brakes come off of central hydraulic appliances. Ladies and gentlemen, our third studs class. This is called a box master cylinder. This is the cylinder bolts inside this box with a brake fluid reservoir here. And it has a vacuum servo to assist on pulling the, uh, the master cylinder on. That's the power brake unit there. The performance engine. The factory guaranteed that each in the 20s, this is, this is how you bought a car from Rolls or Stutz or Packard, Duesenberg. This is this is the car they sold to the body company to then finish the body. We thought the Duesenbergs were, and our third place winner in the Duesenberg class today is the 1931 Duesenberg J. Packard Roadster, owned by Robert and Bridget Thayer of Atlanta, Georgia. The Duesenberg. Class G Duesenberg is the 1930 Duesenberg J. Murphy convertible sedan owned by Dave and Linda Kane of Bernersville, New Jersey. This 1930 Duesenberg Model J. Franz van Heeren, Franz van Heeren. Body and silver ghost class that came over as the parade of elegance was not a judged class. We did, however, judge the second Rolls Royce class, H2. Well, we did the third in class, the As soon as possible. Back to you, Martin. Thank The Benz Victoria is a very basic wooden coach work known as a vis a vis. It was actually used by Carl Benz. Signing shows many similarities with the 400 Super America. 
in Monterey, had a great time Pebble Beach, and uh, at the auctions, all the racing, the cars uh, were fantastic, the people were fantastic, so we'll see you uh, on, on the next one. Right. And that's it from Pebble Beach.